Hello, artists. I'm so happy to see all of you. So maybe you joined me earlier for the read aloud, My Name is Georgia, where we learn about the artist Georgia O'Keeffe. So today we're going to create some works of art inspired by her. So if you remember from the story, when she would look at flowers or bones, she would look at them closely. She said she wanted the world to see these items and objects the way that she did. So she really zoomed in on them to look close. So today we are going to create flowers inspired by Georgia O'Keeffe by looking closely, really zooming in, filling the whole paper with our petals. So here's another one. You can see, we can see that center of the flower and really it expands through the whole page. It's almost like if we were looking at it as though we were an insect and the flower looks huge. You might notice that my flowers look different in shape. They look different in the type of petals they have, but I also use different mediums to create all of them. So you can choose what you'd like to use based on what you have available at home. You can be pretty creative with it. So for this one, I used marker. For this one, I used oil pastel or crayon. You could also use colored pencil. Now for this one, if we were at school together, I might want to use chalk pastels, but I don't have chalk pastels at home. So I thought about what I could be creative and use instead. And I found a box of sidewalk chalk, chalk hanging out in my garage. So I decided to use some sidewalk chalk as though it was chalk pastel. So whatever medium you have is fine, crayons, colored pencils, or even just plain pencils. You could just add value by using a plain pencil. So I'm gonna switch over to the document camera and show you how you can create these Georgia O'Keeffe inspired flowers. All right, here we are. I have my paper, document cameras all set up. So you can go ahead and find a paper. You can orient it any way that you'd like. It can be tall like a portrait or long like a landscape. I'm going to demo using marker so that you can really see what I'm doing. Now you are welcome to use pencil first and then trace over in marker or whatever you would like to use. So I'm gonna first start by making a center of the flower. And remember, flowers are natural, organic elements. So there's no perfect shape. So I'm just gonna make my center of the flower. And then I'm gonna make another circle around it. You can make the center of yours look however you'd like. I'm gonna shade that in using my black marker. And it can be whatever kind of flower you'd like it to be. I'm going to show you one idea here today. All right, I have my center of the flower ready. So now I want to go ahead and I want to add some petals. But remember, if this was my whole flower, it would be too tiny. We want to make our flower really fill the page. So my petals are going to get carried off, off, off and away even maybe off of the page a bit. And I want them to be kind of soft, kind of swirly, really natural, organic shapes. All right, so there I have some petals. And maybe I want to add even some more details there. So maybe I want to have some natural lines. If you look really closely at flowers, and I know we're getting around to that time where we have flowers popping up outside, you might notice some of these lines and figures in our flowers. So you can add some of those in. Thank you. 
All right. So now I'm ready to add some color. And some other things you might want to think about is we talked about texture a little bit. You can add some texture by maybe making some seed pods. Making some interesting looking shapes and lines. Maybe I want to add on to some of these and make the center of the flower a little bumpier. All right. Now, I was feeling pretty inspired by that sidewalk chalk. So I am going to go ahead and use that sidewalk chalk to work to shade in my flower. So make sure if you're using something like sidewalk chalk, it's a little messy. So you might want to do this activity outside when it comes time to color. But I'll use my sidewalk chalk just to add some strokes of color. I don't need to color and color and color and color until it's all filled up because at the very end, we'll be able to blend it. So I'm gonna just add some red to each petal. And maybe I want to stick with warm colors. So maybe I'll add some orange here too. Adding a little bit of orange. And then maybe I'll add some pink. Again, you can see there are spots that still have some of the paper showing. That's okay that we didn't fill in every spot with chalk because remember, it's like our Goldilocks blending. We don't want to use our whole hand and smear it in. We don't want to go tap, 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 but we want to do that nice Goldilocks using one or two fingers to spread some of that color around. Just spreading it around. And you can see the colors start to blend together. So just using my ordinary sidewalk chalk here. And then if I've over blended it, if it's starting to disappear a little too much, I can go back in and I can add some more detailed lines. All right, maybe I even want to go into that center and add some yellow. And maybe I want to give the background a color. Maybe it's a beautiful blue sky. And I know I can use the side of my sidewalk chalk to really fill in lots of space. I have some bright blue, maybe I'll add another shade of blue on top, or even some purple, or another cool color. And then again, I'll go ahead and blend it, but I want to make sure I don't use the finger I used to blend the red. So I'll blend some blue. And then I can always take that marker and go back over any of the lines that got a little too chalky and really make them stand out. So thinking about the natural organic shapes of the petals, thinking about how we can really zoom in, get a nice up close view, really making your creative O'Keefe inspired flower. So again, here's what I did with chalk for you. 
you could use the oil pastels or crayons or the markers. But whatever you do, I'd love to see your creations. So you can always email me what you've created or put it up on my Flipgrid. Thank you so much for being such awesome listeners. I can't wait to see what Georgia O'Keeffe inspired creations you come up with. Happy creating artists.